It's an absolutely stunning evening here in Palm Desert, California. A beautiful, beautiful Saturday evening, June 26, 2021. Coming to you from the desert of Southern California here. Before I start this video, please make sure you come out and check, check out my Patreon channel. Uploading a brand new video tonight. It's gonna have some really, really good information. And there's gonna be some really, really incredible stuff coming on Patreon this July that I'm gonna be sharing with, with all of you. So please make sure you join Patreon. It supports the message, supports the channel, and it's gonna have so much information regarding preparation and solutions to what is coming. So make sure you check it out. And if you like this channel and you want to support it, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's talk about what's important, what's happening right now, what's in the news right now, what's affecting all of us. The hedge today, U.S. food banks warned soaring prices will affect distribution. Soaring food prices aren't just impairing financially strapped uh, families and the working poor here in the U.S. They're also affecting the mission of U.S. food banks who are spending a lot more money on food uh, more than ever before. And, you know, I cannot stress enough what we're about to see. And look, people are, are struggling. Most of you know that the dollar isn't going as far as it did. Food prices are soaring, rent soaring, healthcare, everything is soaring, is soaring. And, and we're seeing massive inflation and we're seeing stagflation. And people can ignore it and they can run up their credit cards. Uh, but look, sooner or later, uh, you're gonna come to uh, the realization that it's going to take a lot more dollars to put gas in the car and food on the table no matter who you are most of you already know that i know it you know it and we're all being very very cautious uh, uh where we're spending our money how we're spending it and to me right now i'm only spending money on things that are important things that i need right now otherwise i'm saving it or i'm buying gold or i'm buying silver stimmy checks set to expire for millions and evictions with food costs soaring. Uh, we are witnessing the perfect storm coming, ladies and gentlemen. People out of work, people that are, are getting paid low wages, have low low hours of work, uh, people who've lost jobs, who cannot find a job to replace the job that they once had, making maybe fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year, $100,000 a year. Those jobs are few and few and far between to find, uh, and so to replace a job where you're making 50, 60,000, 100,000, those are hard jobs to find. Now we're seeing companies offer you 12 hours a week, 16 hours a week, 20 hours a week at 10, 12, 15 dollars an hour, and food prices are soaring, oil prices soaring, cost of living soaring, and we have 15 million Americans that are in some form of government dole right now. How many people that have rolled off unemployment already don't even count now? So how many really truly, mil how many millions of people are on the government dole uh, that have rolled off that, that now have nothing? They're not getting an unemployment check. Uh, they're not eligible to be on the government dole. Food banks across America are being affected and they are reaching a point where they may not be able to feed everybody. You know, my, my concern is if millions of people are evicted by the end of next month, what are these people gonna do? Many of them will become homeless and this is gonna put a lot, a lot of stress on these food banks. And there are gonna be people out there that just aren't going to get food. Here's another article on the hedge. I'm totally screwed. Western Digital tells customers to unplug web connected hard drives after data mysteriously deleted. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. So many people have all their wealth on a computer and that's very very scary and millions of people majority of americans if if something goes awfully wrong they're going to run to the computer to access money big mistake uh what if you uh have to go to your atm look, look i went to the to the atm the other day bank of america it was it was it was shut down i went into the in into the bank and all the atms in the bank were shut down this was after hours too so uh, nobody I could talk to. So uh, the uh, exterior ATM shut down, the internal ATM shut down. So we're watching now more uh, more of these cyber attacks or glitches, uh, ransomware, you name it, whatever it is. This after a wave of customers complained 
that all their data was deleted. Somebody said here, it's scary and it's devastating that someone can, can do a factory restore on my device without any permission granted from the end user. So what if this was your bank account? Uh, what if this was one of your investment accounts? Um, what if you had years of data and it just disappears? The answer to all that is you are screwed. Uh, look, I'm not telling everybody to uh, get offline, you know, shut down your investment accounts, shut down uh, your bank accounts, uh, shut down all your cryptocurrencies. All I'm saying is you better have an emergency plan. You better be diversified. You better not have all your eggs in one basket. Here's another one. Here's another one on the hedge. Brothers disappear of $4 billion in crypto stolen from South African exchange. Two brothers who ran a South African crypto exchange have disappeared with Bitcoin worth $4 billion stolen from their client's clients. The clients who trusted the exchange to safeguard their assets will be left holding the bag. And very, very little recourse here. Good luck getting your money back. Good luck getting that stolen Bitcoin back. You better keep your coins somewhere very, very safe, ladies and gentlemen. Again, when you look at the amount of, of corruption taking place here, the amount of theft and criminality now taking place uh, with this technology where people can just be wiped out in the blink of a second with the flip of a switch. Uh, and that includes your money in a bank account. Um, again, this stuff is, is more fragile and more at risk than many people think. They believe everything on their computer is safe. They believe that there's always gonna be money in the ATM, there's always gonna be money in the bank, that nobody uh, is gonna be able to steal their cryptocurrencies. Oh, I'll just keep it on a hard drive, it'll be fine. Just you know, pray to God that it doesn't get corrupted or somebody doesn't steal it or you don't lose it your whole life on a hard drive. Uh, and, and then you put it on one of these exchanges and it can be wiped out. So be very, very cautious out there, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. And again, diversification. Uh, here's another one of the hedge. Blackouts loom in California as electricity prices are absolutely exploding. Low and middle consumers are gonna be the most affected here. And this is just June. I mean, uh, June has just been ungodly hot. I can't even imagine what July is going to be. It was 115, 116 degrees here today. Uh, in 2020, California electricity jumped by 7.5%. That the cost. How are people going to keep up with the gas prices, the electricity prices, the food prices? Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to get really, really scary. 1.2 million new EV stations to be installed by 2030. I've already had my power cut off already once this month, about two days ago. And I read that 1.2 million new EV stations are gonna be installed by 2030. Um, we can't even keep the electricity on right now. Could you imagine if 10% of California, 20% of California, God forbid 50% of California was charging their cars? Uh, we would have blackout after blackout after blackout here in the state of California. Between 2010 and 2020, electricity prices have jumped 39.5% here in the state of California. And we're going to be charging cars to drive around at EV stations. Another one on the hedge. Do you hear the bells ringing? And I want to close with this one right here. You know, so many people walk around like zombies. People walk around oblivious, so naive, uh, just unfortunately brainless. And in this article, do you hear the bells ringing? There are so many warning signs, ladies and gentlemen. I got a train now uh, off I-10 going by, so hopefully that's not uh, affecting the video. But think about the warning signs. And this article just lists a few. Why is Tesla trading? at over 200 times earnings, but yet people will say there's no manipulation in the stock market, there's no rigging. Uh, you look at the amount of corporate debt, you look at earnings, this whole thing is just, an, it's a massive illusion. Why is total issuance of collateral 
loan obligations to grow $850 billion outstanding by year end. Why was JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon paid $31.5 million in 2020? Why did the Federal Reserve's re revised purchase operation hit a record $813? $0.573 billion on Wednesday, up from $791.6 billion on Tuesday. What is going on? Why is the yield on the 10-year Treasury note just 1.5% when consumer price inflation is officially rising at a 5% annualized rate? Why did the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 indexes just hit new record highs? Why is the U.S national debt now above $28.4 trillion. Why do the status dis despise gold? And the list goes on. The bell is ringing, ladies and gentlemen. The question is, do you hear them? Most Americans do not. Most Americans are going to continue to live in the twilight zone. They're going to continue to live in denial. They're going to continue to rely on credit cards and debt to pay the bills, to feed their families, uh, to pay the rent. The day of reckoning in America is coming. Reality is coming to America. And as I leave you on this beautiful Saturday evening, look, I sleep good at night because I paid off all my debt. And I've made sacrifices. And there's so many people out there that are just not willing to give up a lifestyle. They're not willing to give up driving a certain type of car, living uh, in a certain zip code. And as long as you think like that, you're gonna be a debt slave. And worse than that, you're gonna lose here. You're gonna be victimized by this collapse. The minute that you don't care about what you drive, and you can, you can drive a nice car, you can be debt free, you can live in a nice neighborhood, a nice zip code, absolutely. But you may have to make a sacrifice. You may have to get rid of the nice car. You may have to live a little bit below your means. You may have to live in a zip code that maybe you don't want to. But in order to have that cash reserve, to ha have some money saved up, to be able to buy assets, to be able to pay for preparations, you may have to cut something out of your life. You may even have to cut certain people out of your life. There are people that just cannot give up people uh, that bring them down, who are not gonna better them, who are not gonna be there when bad things happen. You need to be surrounding yourself around people who are awake, people who are smart, people who may be making sacrifices, people who are aware of what's coming. If you're, if you're surrounding yourself and hanging out with people in the twilight zone, if you're, if you're hanging out with the zombies, then you're gonna be a zombie. You're gonna be in the twilight zone. You're gonna be in the matrix. Right now, you gotta disconnect. You gotta get out of the system. You gotta get out of the matrix and you gotta stop being a zombie. The bells are ringing, ladies and gentlemen. The question is, do you hear them? And if you do, what are you doing about it? Sitting at home on the couch, uh, doing nothing, is not going to be a solution here. The solution is, first off, uh, be, be aware and admit that there's a problem. Secondly, start doing something about it. Cut things and people out of your life that are dragging you down. Drugs, alcohol, uh, pornography, things like that. Start putting good people in your life. Start absorbing good things in your mind, okay? This is like a computer. What it sees and what it hears, it absorbs. So you need to be absorbing things that you're gonna use as a tool. And you surround yourself with people who are gonna help bring you up protect you, uh, be there for you when you might need them. And make sure this, you're exercising this, you're absorbing knowledge, you're absorbing good things, and, and you're, you're putting a game plan up here. Because you need to be an asset, you need to have a skill set, all right? And you need, you need to be clear-minded, and you need to be aware, and you need to admit to yourself that we got big problems. People always always say, what can I do, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do, JB? First thing is admit that we got a big problem. That's the first thing. Until then, we, you can't do anything. Once you admit that there's a problem, then you can begin to do something. But first off, admit that there's a problem and think, hey, if I lose my job tomorrow, what am I going to do? If I lose my job next month, what, can I, what, what am I going to do? Do you have cash? Are you working an extra side hustle? Maybe two side hustles. You got to do whatever you got to do right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to leave it there tonight. Look forward to talking to all of you. It's getting dark. Um, but uh, tomorrow's Sunday, get out, do something, get in better shape, go add uh, maybe some canned food to your food reserves, maybe order some dry food, 
uh, maybe cut out going uh, to brunch tomorrow and go buy an ounce of silver, a couple ounces of silver. Start thinking about how you get out of the system. Start thinking outside of the box. Stop doing what all your friends are doing, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to lose. Stay on track and you will win. God bless. Talk to all of you soon.